This is an audio amplifier that I've built in the past, consisting of a pre-amplifier with three uh, typical sound characteristics. And here the power supply, of course. This is also the power supply. This is the fuse, main fuse, important. And here is the end amplifier. What I want to demonstrate in this video is that there are a lot of reasons uh, uh, through which such an amplifier can start to oscillate. And some uh, measurements, measures to uh, prevent oscillation. Of course the whole circuit must be made properly regarding to its earth wiring. And I've described this uh, extensively in my book. You can find that book on the Lulu website. Now I want to demonstrate um, how such a circuit can easily start to oscillate. This is one uh, channel and this is another channel, both, with, both made with uh, N. 2N305 uh, transistors and I want to demonstrate now what happens when the input impedance from the channels is different. Here you see a resistor and this resistor is connected to the preamplifier and in the first setup from this amplifier I had not connected the resistor to the second uh, amplifier stage. And what happened was this. And here you see all kinds of oscillations on very high frequencies. And you can hear it too. So, uh, of course, this does not always happen. But uh, what I want to point out is that the end amplifier must see only at its input changing voltages. So the audio signal is a changing voltage that enters here the input and uh, when uh, current is driven into the first transistor stage from the bipolar transistor, that's this transistor, this can cause a lot of problems. So uh, the input must be must be set apart from the um, impedance from the uh, preamplifier that's here, and that's the reason for this resistor. This resistor separates in a certain way the um, signal from the preamplifier when it goes into the end amplifier. And you can experiment with this value. Um, it is between 1K and approximately 100K. Another uh, problem could be that the end amplifier is sensitive for uh, medium wave radio stations. And you can find that when you touch the input from your amplifier with your finger and now at the background you don't hear radio stations. And the reason is that I've mounted a very small capacitor here from 220 picofarad um, from the base, from the first transistor to the ground. This green one here I've made. I've connected this, uh, this uh, capacitor again. For both channels this small capacitor filters out the medium wave frequencies between 500 kilohertz and approximately 1.6 megahertz. Of course this capacitor will also damp the input signal, the audio signal, but I found that there's no, um, there's not much influence 
uh, on the audio signal from such a small capacitor from 220 picofarad. Another problem that I found was um, the decoupling. Of course such an end amplifier must be properly decoupled. That means that it needs an electrolytic capacitor from the positive to the negative lead. And that's here. I use now old computer capacitors. They can handle a lot of, of uh, voltage. And their properties are excellent to decouple uh, a simple uh, audio amplifier with bipolar uh, end transistors. And of course there are a lot of other reasons why uh, such an, an amplifier can start to oscillate. I've told it uh, earlier in this video, the proper earth wiring is very very important. Here you see the one and only connection from the power supply to the metal enclosure from this amplifier. That's very important. There must be only one uh, connection to the metal and this lead goes here to the uh, power supply capacitor and of course the, the inputs audio inputs must be isolated from the metal so there's only one uh, point in the whole amplifier where the circuit is grounded to the metal enclosure and that's here at the most sensitive point from uh, the audio amplifier and that's here that's the input of course in many audio amplifiers you will find another another location where the ground is connected often you find the ground connected here in the neighborhood of the uh, power supply capacitors but I didn't do that in this case. More information, much more information, you can find in my book. You can find it on the Lulu website. It's my old uh, name on YouTube, Radio M232. Wish you luck.